My name is Tony Swanton. I'm a blacksmith. I make suits of armor and swords. My business is making weapons for movies, video games, television shows, commercials, all of that. Blizzard Entertainment has asked me to create an iconic weapon from the World of Warcraft lore. I'm really excited about this one. Doomhammer. According to Warcraft legend, the head of the Doomhammer was crafted by an orc named Gelnor from a pool of lava on Draenor. When Gelnor crafted an oak handle, Doomhammer was complete. Both the weapon and the name were passed down from father to son for generations. This version of Doomhammer is a little different from most of the ones that you've seen in the game. This actually has lava channels growing through it. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to give the effect of lava because we're all out of lava. If I had made this solid, it would probably weigh 250 pounds. Nobody would be able to pick it up. Much as vellum is used in World of Warcraft to make scrolls, I use vellum to see layers that I'm going to be using to construct the Doomhammer hammerhead. I'm going to start with a rectangular tube. For the end caps, we'll put plates of aluminum. Supporting the wolf head will be bulletproof glass. And then there's four bands as opposed to two that are in the original design to make it stronger. It's a very intricate piece, and it's going to take a lot of work. I take a look at the drawing and create a paper pattern. Next, I'm going to work on tracing the sides of the hammer face onto 11 gauge steel and cutting that out on the bandsaw. After the panels are cut out, I'll bring them over to the power hammer and hammer in a bunch of lava type distress look on the hammer face. And I'm going to weld the seams together on these two edges to make a rectangular hammerhead. And then Brian will cut out from the fire channels using the plasma cutter. In this forge, you have to assume that everything is hot, sharp, and poisonous. So not only is it going to kill you, it's going to hurt the whole time you're dying. Watch your butts. The plasma cutter can achieve temperatures of 45,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It vaporizes that metal underneath it and cuts a channel. After Brian has plasma cut the channels, we will take the scale and flash off using a die grinder. For the end caps of the doom hammer, Brian will cut out 5 8 aluminum on the bandsaw. And then he'll bring it over to the vertical mill and mill out the fire channels. We send the aluminum out to get anodized, and they'll do a gold anodizing finish with red highlights. There's so many layers to it, and I have to make it glow. When I saw the artwork that Blizzard Entertainment supplied, it showed only two bands. The place you're going to hit with a hammer are these corners. So I'm going to reinforce these corners, adding four bands as opposed to two. I'm just going to soften it at a red heat so I can forge it underneath the power hammer. And I'm going to take it to the anvil and bend a 90 degree angle. We've uh, drawn the frost wolf on a sheet of steel. So I'm going to use a tool called a jeweler saw. I'll carve in the details of the mane and the teeth on the Fordham disc grinder. That completes all the elements for the hammerhead. To begin the construction of the pommel, I'm going to take a three inch diameter round bar, put it into the forge and bring it up to a temperature of about 16 to 1800 degrees and smash it until it looks like the pommel that I want. The pommel for Doom Hammer has five steel spikes coming off of it. I'm going to forge those out of inch and a quarter chromoly 4130 steel. It is hardenable and extremely tough. And then we'll heat them up to the critical temperature, which is about 1575 degrees, and quenching them in oil to harden them. They'll actually be more effective for smashing and penetrating skulls and bones and, you know, whatever gets in the way. Once I'm done forging the spikes, I bring them over to the chop saw and cut them to length. I've got an abrasive chop saw with a 14 inch blade, about an eighth of an inch wide, that will cut through the steel like butter. 
After I forge the spikes, I'll screw them into the ball. This is gonna do some damage, and that will complete the construction of the pommel. For the handle, the doom hammer will be made out of a solid chunk of oak that I'll drill a hole through the end and put a piece of 5 8 all thread through the middle of it, because if it was just plain wood, it would snap immediately. The ends never meet exactly in the middle, so I'm gonna heat up a poker in the forge and push that through the middle. After I've drilled and burned the hole, I take it over to the belt grinder and give it a rough hewn appearance. I'm trying to achieve the look of this handle being created with a knife or an ax, but I'm doing this with an abrasive belt. There's a design element in the doom hammer handle that shows these little patchy pieces of metal. I had a tool that will impart dragon scales on it, and then forming the metal to wrap around the side of the handle, burning it into place. I bring it to the layout table and stain it to give it the appearance of an aged, old oak handle. That will complete the construction of Doom Hammer's handle. The final assembly on this is very complex due to multiple layers. I've added four bands. I'm putting the final band onto the side just to make it that much stronger. I need to rivet things together. I need to bolt stuff together. It's a giant 3D jigsaw puzzle. And we're using uh, Lexan, which is a bulletproof material. It's bolted and riveted throughout the interior. This way, we can have the frost wolf floating in space in the fire. The final element to assembling Doomhammer is to screw the pommel to the grip and then bolt the top of the hammerhead together. <clears throat> Done. What I've determined is we're going to use glowing lava-colored lights from the inside of the hammerhead to make lava channels glow. Yeah. This will create massive DPS. If I had made Doomhammer solid, probably be close to 300 pounds, we'll uh, weigh it up. Right at 50 pounds. Almost 300 hours working on this, but it's finally complete. Let's go crush something with Doomhammer.